Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trao Sepina and I'm a pet portrait artist based in Belgium. In today's video I'm going to create a blurry background. This will be actually the first time I will use only pen pastels, a beauty blender and an eyeshadow sponge to achieve this kind of effect for the background. These sponges are very cheap but they do a great job. Normally I combine them with color pencils but this time I really wanted to keep this background purely made out of pen pastels. I started using these pen pastels a few months ago after seeing them being used by other artists and I was blown away by the results they achieved and I had to try them as well. I really hope this video will help you if you just start out using pen pastels or if you would like to add backgrounds to your drawings but you don't know what to do or what materials to use. Now let's get started. For this background I'm going to use only 3 pen pastels and I made here some swatches to show you guys which ones I'm going to use. And I'm going to start out with the yellow ochre, which is this color, burnt sienna, which is this color, and the white pen pastel, which is this one. And I'm going to use as well a blending sponge for makeup. They have the cheap ones, I ordered them from. Aliexpress if you know it, it's a very cheap website and they do a very good job and I'm going to use as well some of these little ones these are sponges for eyeshadows and this small pencil which is a brown ochre I started out by applying a very light and even layer of the yellow ochre color just to make sure I spread the pigment all over the background to have a clear overview over the whole area as you can see my demonstration I was initially using a small sponge but in the end, I have changed my mind and chose to use the big sponge to cover as much area as possible. Another advantage of using a bigger sponge is that it takes less time to build up those layers and mix the colors. I'm always going back to the pastel pad to take more pigment because these beauty blenders tend to absorb a lot of the pigment and it is necessary to always add more. I am being very careful with the pressure on the sponge when I'm applying these layers because if I press too hard, it is possible I'm going to create an unwanted spot which can be very hard to erase or cover. It is important as well to work from light to dark because, for example, if you go too dark from the beginning and you change your mind and want to go lighter, it can be very hard to correct and make that area lighter again. But by building those layers up from light to dark gives more room for corrections and you can always add more pigment to make the area darker if it is too light. For a smoother effect, I am using all the sides of the sponge so I keep twisting it with my hand to be sure I blend everything very well. It took me quite a bit of time to achieve the color I wanted but it is a lot of fun to apply pen pastels on Strathmore Bristol paper. I don't know if it is just me, but I love the feeling when I apply these pastels on the paper. After I have achieved the right base color and made sure it looks smooth enough, I decided to start adding the darker shades using the burnt sienna color. I am using the same sponge because, even if it is full of the lighter color, it won't matter, they will mix and it won't be noticeable anymore. My first intention was to create a dots characteristic for the bouquet background first, but after having another look, it seemed like a better idea just to mix them together and work on the dots later on. To achieve the same smooth effect for these darker layers, try again to always twist the sponge with your hand. The pen pastels can get very messy, especially when working with dark colors, as I do in my demonstration. To avoid smudging it all over the drawing, keep the contact of your hand with the paper as rare as possible. Another thing to keep in mind is not to touch your paper with your fingers as well, because the oil found on the fingers can leave an invisible stain on the paper, but it becomes very visible in the moment the pen pastel starts the paper, and it is almost impossible to remove or cover. My fingers and palms got very dirty during this process and I made sure I wash my hands from time to time. The beauty blender I'm using is ideal for creating backgrounds thanks to its very handy design. It has a cylindrical shape with a very big and flat bottom part, ideal for covering big areas far away from the main subject and a very pointy tip perfect for smaller areas, especially the ones closer to the main subject. After all the blending was finished, I have decided to start creating the dust characteristic for the bouquet background. For the lightest ones I used the Tombow Mono Eraser, it works great with the pen pastels and it can almost erase them completely, which is perfect when you are trying to achieve very light areas. For the less bright dots, I have used a kneaded eraser just to pick up some pigment from the paper and then I applied some yellow ochre on top to make it more vibrant. With the help of the sponge's pointy tip, I have created some light grey and brown dots as well just to give more dimension to the background. For the small circles I'm using the tip of the sponge and for the larger ones I'm using the bottom of it. 
After finishing this section, I have started working on the next ones by applying the same methods as in the previous one. I have decided to work in sections because, in case I made a mistake in the first one, I will know what to do in the next ones to avoid repeating them. To add more value and realism to the background, I combined some light and dark dots. I was really surprised that some of the areas where the light and the dark dots overlapped were still visible because this helped as well to add more realism. As I said a few times in this video, please make sure you achieve the right color and shading before jumping into creating the circles. It can be very hard to erase the circles and after work more on the layers. Towards the end of the background, I chose to use an extra sponge just to help me to blend the yellow ochre and the burn scene up better. I have used the new one as well to pick up some white pigment from the pad and create some more light grey circles. Now that this tutorial is coming to an end, I want to recap some important tips. Don't touch the paper with your fingers to avoid leaving marks. Working from light to dark is important to avoid corrections further away in the drawing. Start creating the circles only after the layers are completely done and the color and shade are the ones you wanted. For the small circles, use the tip of the sponge and for the large ones, use the bottom of it. These were some of the most important tips mentioned in this video. This was all for today's video, I really hope you have learned something new and it will be helpful in your future drawings with a background included. Thank you for watching, if you would like to see more videos please subscribe to my channel, I post an art related video weekly. Please give this video a big thumbs up as well and press the bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. Have a nice day and see you in the next one, bye!